Hi everyone, so I've been asked to do a little video on exchange traded funds and also on commodities and it's something which I've been meaning to do for a while. So if we look at the approved filtered list and we really narrow these down based on certain factors given that the markets are falling, we want something which has been up over the last three months because that gives us an indication that despite falling markets this is something which has resisted that and the rest of the market has faith in it. Now you could look at the markets in a completely different way and say no I'm going to look at it in the way that Actually, even if it's falling, even if it's uh, falling, I want something which is in negative territory and might turn around. That's not the strategy we're using. Okay, we're using I want something which has risen. So six months as well. I want volatility to be relatively low. I mean, in these kind of markets, really, do you want to take even extra risk? No. Sortino, high as possible. Remember, that's the average return versus the average volatility or risk of missing it. So the more likely it's to hit it, the higher the number of Sortino. And of course, the past is no guarantee of the future, but the past is uh, uh, some indication of the future, but it's not a guarantee. Okay, so Sortino wants that to be relatively high. Uh, alpha just means outperforms the market. Beta is again a different measure of volatility uh, as well. Percentage of the highs. Now, some of these are pretty close to their highs, okay? and correlation to the broader market. Ideally, you want something which isn't highly correlated to the broader market. You really want it near zero if you can get it. So now you can see that there's quite a bit which comes in and it's not necessarily commodities. Some of it is, well, it is, it's energy, I guess it's sort of commodity. Um, but you can see what I've looked at here is, I've in a way almost not cared if it's commodity or not, but there is a commodity play. And the commodity play that comes up is this. I'm not saying it's necessarily going to be a particularly good one or bad one. Uh, but these numbers are where you begin with. Uh, now, if you wanted to explore more deeply, you might go to Lixor's website. You'll put in that EPIC code and you'll have a look at what their arguments are as to have any of those things uh, and make a decision based on that. There's pros and cons to all of this. You know, you might say, oh, great, I found one which is low correlation. It's next to zero correlation to the rest of the market. But, um, well, Sortino is pretty good, actually near all-time highs. You might say, I don't want it near all-time highs. Uh, but you can see that there's some, uh, quite a bit of choice. You might say, well, actually, it's only up 5%. I want something which is actually on a stronger trend. So there isn't one right answer to any of this. Equally, you might say, screw it. I'm going to get a basket of all of these. Uh, and that'll give you a good mixture, as it were. And that's also a solution. All I'm saying is, I'm not saying to you, hey, let's go buy into the commodities. Here's a nice little story about commodities. What I'm saying is I'm looking at the data and I'm seeing some positives here, but it's down 25% from its highs. And you might say, well, that's a good reason to get into it. Equally, hmm, I'm not so sure now because it's fallen so much. It's given up so many gains. Uh, so that's as much as I can say. I can't say, yes, this will definitely be the way. And I certainly don't want to be spinning stories about, well, I think this is what we should gamble on. You've got another one here which says commodity, commodity producers, uh, and you can see the returns. Volatility relatively low, so a lot of people might think, mm, nice and safe, correlation 0.7. See, that's to the broader S&P. It's still highly correlated to the broader markets, okay? But at least the volatility is lower. Um, and you might say, well, don't I want negative correlation? Well, if the markets start rising, you don't want negative correlation because you'll just be hedging away the gains on one side against another. You actually want, if you can get it, zero correlation uh, is an important factor. Okay, so hopefully that explains the thinking on the commodity side of things. Okay, thank you very much.